Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the MF Kit Build, taking a great kit guitar and making it awesome. <laughs> Hopefully. Haha! <laughs> uh, if you have not watched the earlier videos, uh, please go back and watch them. This is a, a process and it is uh, sequential. It, what, what, what isn't sequential, I ask. Anyway, uh, this guitar, I'm really, really enjoying the build process. It is, uh, I'm, I'm slightly going insane, but it's great fun. Uh, and by the way, if you are currently watching this in the month of July 2018, then you still run the chance of winning this guitar and having it for your very own. If you are not, go to crimsonguitars.com anyway and check out what we have. There might well be a sale on or or a competition or something. Um, but anyway, aha, on with the build. So much to do. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hi, yo, cool? Uh, beginnings of videos always suck. I am back with the the kit build of awesomeness. And uh, I, I went away, did some thinking, came back, made a custom tool, uh, it sucked. I cut my thumb open. Um, I then realized that the tool didn't suck, it's awesome, and it was well worth the blood and the pain and the sacrifice. And uh, I've finally figured out how to cut these hexagons, hexagonal holes, hexagons. Anyway, uh, I've got it, and this is how. Nice, sharp scalpel blade, and uh, right, let's just go for this one. Now the last thing I want to do is slip and slice all the way through, so I'm going to take it from both sides. Okay, so that is the, the actual outline nice and chopped. And then we go in with a sharp chisel and just get rid of the, the top layer. And this is, yeah, cut to cut. Next up, 12 mil drill bit. Uh, this is a Fermag center bit. Put that bang in the middle. This removes much of the waste. And then at this point, <clears throat> I have, I've modified this scalpel blade into a scalpel blade knife, cutting sword thing file of awesomeness. And I go in the corner and then basically saw scalpel the, uh, the excess away. And then 
a little rasp. Just to gently finish it off. Here we go. Well, here we go. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that I haven't gone, uh, I haven't done everything that I said I would. I was planning on putting holes in the very edge, and those do not currently exist. They go slightly over the corner. Now, uh, uh, that is for several, several reasons. One, I do need this gap here to be bigger, which means that I'm going to end up possibly removing some material from the edge on the, uh, on the spindle sander over there, because, uh, well, I need to keep the shape of the guitar as it is supposed to be which means that the shape, even of these ones that I've cut here, are gonna be, uh, is gonna be a fit, and I'm gonna to have to recut those, I think. Um, 
And the second reason is cutting in straight there will go into these holes and that area will be far too weak. So it's just not practical. So, uh, well, onwards. Let's see, let's see what happens next. Um, strength wise, it's not, it's not too bad actually. There's just here is fairly weak, but, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh well, hell yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is so fun. Okay. Well, strength-wise, it's pretty dang strong. Dang, dang with a G. Um, I am still tempted to sand down the inside and maybe glue in some sort of a support. Stay right there. How's about this uh, drawn steel mesh, which could look pretty awesome. Uh, it could look pretty awesome. But there's a 3D shape in there, and I don't really fancy bending that to a 3D shape, but it would have to go around and be even, and yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that is beyond me or not at this juncture. Okay, out of my way, mug. Now, well, there's sanding, there's some more carving to do. Um, my, my, my wrist is, my hand is sore from all of this little uh, delicate carving in a strange position. Uh, I need to, I need to figure out how large of a gap I really want. Now I have, I've decided what I'm going to be doing with that gap and uh, it's going to be awesome. But uh, essentially I need to now specify that. I need to tidy the inside of the, uh, the cavity. I need to clean that up because that is going to be visible. Uh, I have to drill some uh, three body stringing holes. There's a lot to do. I'm still having fun though. Some more carving to do. Okay, I have to tidy up the edge holes. I have to sand the inside because I do want that to be relatively smooth. That is my next, you hear people hanging, hammering next door. Uh, that is my next, next stage. So onwards. With a gap that sort of size, there's only a half mil or a mil uh, poking out. So actually that's not that important. Whatever I do here uh, is pretty close. I'll take that away. So it will be fine. What I need to do now really is clean up the inside. I have where these side holes have come through I need to carve that away to make that thinner and, and more attractive so you can see everything. One of them's only just poked through. So, uh, well, into the vise and uh, on with the carving. Oh, 
Oh, we have to see. Can I actually do it there? Ooh. Ooh. Close. Hi. Yo. Don't mind me. Well, it's not actually that bad. Mallet. Gouge. Or three. I don't want to tempt fate, but this appears to be working rather well. Oh no, I tempted fate, didn't I? There are few things more pleasurable than a properly sharp tool. <laughs> Love my life. I am literally just playing right now. And yeah, it's awesome. Seriously, the, the precision and gentleness that you can get with a great big carving mallet, it's so much, it's precise is the, is, is the word, so I'm gonna say it again. Trying to carve by hand like this leaves you likely to slip and cause issues, whereas that's a, and it stops. Um, and comes back and, and this is why, this is why this is essential. There are, there are some times when you've got a, a bit of a pairing motion. For example, I'm going across the grain on the inside with this and I'm, I'm pairing away sort of gently. And that by hand is, is one thing. But to actually have some measure of control, uh, a mallet is, uh, is required. So uh, if you don't have one yet, find one. VintageToolshop.com. <laughs> Thank you for watching this kit build. Come back for the next video. Uh, it will be out soon, if not already. Depends if you're kind of watching them as we upload them or not. I don't know. We'll see. It's up. It's up to you, really. It might be there now. Click just click next. Did it work? Notification button. Patreon, etc. Thank you. Yeah, that works. See ya. <laughs>